Hey guys, I don't know where, first off, I'm just gonna say, I don't know where to look here because this is a new phone that I am returning, but I'm filming on it first because my old phone is full. Um, this is a Pixel 4 and that's very new to me and I'm so sorry if this is all over the place. So I usually have the What I Got My Kid For Christmas video out a lot sooner, usually October, but to be honest, like I just don't have my life together this year and also, I um, had all his stuff, it was just in storage. So if you're new around here, most of this stuff is clearance items. Um, I shop year round. Sometimes I hold on to this stuff for a couple of years. Some of this stuff I might've bought when he was a baby. Um, and I just, I have a storage unit. And when it's about time to give him those gifts I found or whatever, then I give him a birthday, a Christmas, whatever. So I save a lot of money this way, like an insane amount of money. In fact, the food truck you guys are going to see, I paid, I think I paid, I was going to say 15, but I think it was 20 bucks. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. Um, so that's just how I shop. And some people, I'm just going to have to put this disclaimer because on previous videos, I've heard it all. Like I buy him too much stuff. It's overindulged. Okay. So if you don't like the kind of video, then you might want to check out now. Um, he only gets gifts at Christmas and his birthday. We don't buy toys in between. I do not believe in buying him toys. Um, if he likes stuff in the store, we add it to his wish list. We remember it as birthday and Christmas time. I, or like Easter for an Easter basket. I just don't believe in buying toys in between those two occasions. So this time of year and his birthday is when he gets the major majority of his new toys. Um, and on his birthday, I tend to only give him like three things maybe um, because he gets gifts at his parties. So it might seem excessive to some. Like I said, if that's not your jam, just check out now if you're a minimalist, whatever. Like we all have our own thing. Goodbye. If that is you, this is not the video for you. So I pulled all his stuff out of storage to show you guys and um I went and bought a few more things and then I had Santa you know just cruise by and drop off his gifts that he got Jackson and um the stocking stuffers it's all jumbled up in there but there are a few things that aren't in this that I wanted to mention because I know a lot of you guys are looking for ideas um so there's a few things that he is getting that like we specifically told family for instance he's really starting to get into, into small legos so my sister is getting him like a classic lego set like it's a pack of the just the classic legos not like you know just like build your own thing um not one of those crazy kids and then my mother-in-law and father-in-law got him his first drum set his friend cj has a drum set that he's like like obsessed with so my my in-laws got him that and they got him the Fisher Price Elsa castle because he wants that really bad. And it, and also the sleigh, Kristoff sleigh. And those are like two of the frozen little people things that they just put out this year. And then um, there was like a Buzz Lightyear glove thing that shoots his friend CJ has that I told my sister-in-law about. Um, and then I know my other sister-in-law got him a Hot Wheels set because he's he's just starting to get in like the tracks and stuff um and I don't remember any more significant gifts but those are just a few ideas of newer things that are out this year and then oh yeah my mother-in-law also got him a Kristoff doll that because he has an Elsa doll that he got last Christmas he's still obsessed with um he loves Frozen he loves Elsa and so she got him the Kristoff doll. Um, okay, so then our big gift to him is a Power Wheels. And we told him about October that he was gonna get one for Christmas. And the reason we did that, some people would say we're crazy. The reason we did that is to let him pick what he, um, like what he wanted. Because I wanted to make sure for a gift that expensive, it was a Power Wheels he wanted and that it was, consistently what he wanted so you know every couple weeks I've been asking him are you sure you want this one is there another one like showing him things and he's consistently wanted this police power wheels from kid tracks I think I'll throw this stuff up on the screen hopefully in editing um 
he's consistently wanted this. It's really cute. So that is his big gift from us because he has outgrown his ATV, which I also got that thing on clearance for like 30 bucks. And he's finally outgrown that thing. Like his knees are like all crazy on it. So anyways, I talk way too much and there is a lot of stuff upstairs to show you guys. So we're just going to jump into it. Okay guys, I'm just going to jump into this <laughs> as fast as possible. So let's just start with the big one. Um, this is the uh, Little Tykes 2-in-1 food truck. And um, he actually was playing with this at a friend's birthday party this weekend. It was at like this play place he was at. And I was like, that's so funny because he has that in storage. I've actually held on to this more than a year and I got it for 20 bucks. <laughs> so it comes with all this like really fun food and um, it's a lot taller than that. If you guys remember that Fisher Price food truck he had, it's kind of like a bigger kid version. Um, and Jackson's pretty tall. <laughs> Most people think he's like five and he, when he was standing in it at the play place, like it fit him really well. So he's really at the perfect age for this. He does have a play kitchen, but he's like obsessed with cooking and pretending to drive. So I think he's finally at like the perfect age for it. I'll probably keep it upstairs because his play kitchen's downstairs. Like I said, he really loves pretending to cook. So I think it'll be good for him to have that upstairs. Okay. <laughs> um, let me pull Santa's gifts because you know, I gotta give them back to Santa till Christmas time. Um, just pull that now for you guys. Let's see. Yeah. Like settle down guys it's gonna be a long video <laughs> um so santa he asked santa he's seen santa <laughs> he's seen santa twice now and he's asked santa for pj mask stuff very specific stuff um all pj masks that's all he wants from santa uh santa does not bring our family big gifts um santa brings a few small things and that's just how Santa rolls with our family. So this is pretty much his big gift from Santa. Um, it's the Mission Control Headquarters. Okay, and then he's got he's got the outlet like this already. Um, one of my friends bought it for him, and he's like obsessed with it. But he wanted the matching gecko and catboy. We're PJ Masks obsessed, <laughs> so uh, Santa got him those. And then the um, outlet is his favorite. So he got the outlet turbo mover. It like shoots things. It lights up. It's super cute. And then a um, PJ Masks towel. So that and then there's some stocking stuff from Santa that's PJ Masks related. <laughs> uh, what is this? The Night Ninja Sticky Splat. Um, and then this is, he loves frozen, like we talked about earlier. So he's got some chapstick there and this really cute little people car. He still really loves little people. He's obsessed. He's got every little person thing under the sun, but, um, this is like a little pizza truck. Super cute. Um, so I think there's some other stuff for his stocking in here. These like little... <laughs> Batman hero shades and um, more felt stuff, but it's like monster truck felt stuff. So, oh, I forgot these. Oh my gosh. It's like, uh, all right. And these are also stocking stuff. So there's that. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know where to start. So then, okay, over here, I got him these things at the dollar store. This stuff's going to be from us. He's, uh, he loves coloring and art. Oh God, he loves the secret life of pets. Um, I really wish I could have found some of the toys. I'm sure they have them on Amazon, but y'all know I'm about that savings life. And if I didn't find them on clearance, I wasn't fixing to buy them full price. Um, I found this at five and below during the summer. Uh, I just thought it was like a really cute bath toy where he can like shoot, um, this like shoots, like a water gun and it's like a floating target. Is there a picture of it? No, <laughs> but it just looked really cute. Uh, and then let's see, 
I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay, let's start here. So these are from when Toys R Us closed, which was quite a while ago. Um, I went crazy Christmas shopping um, once they were like down to 90% off. So this is a bath toy and I've been holding on to it for a while because like I said, when Toys R Us closed and I just feel like he's finally at a really good age for it. Um, it floats like it. Um, and so he loves playing with toys in the bath. So I got him. I got him that, and then, the, again, this, this stuff was from the Toys R Us clearance, too. These are, like, the other cards, the Jackson Storm and the Lightning McQueen. So, I'm just going to start moving stuff behind me as we get through it. All right. This I got on clearance at Target over the summer. Um, he's really starting to get into these Imaginex toys. He's got a lot of the Toy Story ones. Well, he's got some of the Toy Story ones. He's got, like, a carnival thing. Um, he also wants the pizza planet thing, which is something I might tell family if somebody else asks what he wants. There's like a pizza planet set. Um, so I found that on clearance at Kroger. Let's see. I know I got, yeah, there's a pair. Okay. So our grocery store. <laughs> oh yeah. This is going in his stocking too. He calls Bo Peep. Oh Peep. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. I found this at our grocery store. It wasn't on clearance, but you guys, it is, oh my God, like Zuma has been so hard to find. Like you can only find it on Amazon for like an atrocious price, like just craziness. And so they finally started putting Zumas out in stores. So this is the only Paw Patrol like vehicle he didn't have. So I had got that at the grocery store. It wasn't on sale. Okay. But I wasn't sure if I'd see it again. And I, I did not want to pay $30 on Amazon. So I just got it when I found it for 12. So these I got on clearance at my grocery store. Um, because like I said, he's, he's really into this Imaginex stuff and, uh, Toy Story. So I went ahead and got all of them because they were like half off. Um, it's like check your grocery stores, especially if you're in Texas, like H-E-B, like they, they, when they want to get rid of stuff, it gets really cheap. It's crazy. All right. So let's go through more, um, of this stuff. So I got these clearly on clearance at Target and actually like I need to remember to make it a point to tell you guys, this isn't what I paid for. I paid about half of that. Like <clears throat> I tend to wait till stuff gets like hella cheap. So he's really into, he has like the Jurassic Park stuff already, some of it. So, I guess that, no, here's the other one. So I did pick those up when they were on clearance. So down from like, I think this one was the actual price. Um, but yeah, he already has some of this stuff and he's like obsessed with it. So I'm going to be saying that a lot. He's obsessed with that. Oh, here's another Jurassic Park one that I got on clearance. So oh, I'm holding on to those for a while. I've been holding on. Let's go through this. I've been holding on to this since Toys R Us closed too. So I got this at Toys R Us when they closed. He has been obsessed with Scooby-Doo since he was two. He's three and a half now. Um, but I've been holding on to this because I feel like it's more age appropriate once he was three. And then when he turned three, I didn't want to give him too many gifts for his birthday. So I held on to it for Christmas. Now he's three and a half. He freaking loves Scooby-Doo. So it's the uh, mystery machine and it came with these characters. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was at least 90% off by the time I got it. And Scooby-Doo stuff is really hard to find, but for some reason tonight I got really lucky because Walmart had these. The only thing he's missing, oh, he's missing now. The only thing he's missing now is Daphne. Um, so I found these at Walmart. I was really surprised. And they're like the same size as the ones in here. So that was really cool. That was a cool find. Um, that's pretty much the only thing. There's only like a couple things. Like I bought him full price. Like as, as his gifts this year. Uh, okay. More clearance. Toys R Us clearance. Um, this is just like a track. Um, for the longest time he was like really into cars. Then he kind of got out of it. And then he got back into it. So... Um, like the, sh the movie cars, but, um, he, he like wanted this in Toys R Us for the longest time. And when it, when everything went on clearance, I grabbed it. Um, but he's like obsessed with tracks and stuff like that. And then there's this, this is another thing from the Toys R Us sale. 
that I got him on clearance. And I think he's going to have fun with this because he has all these cars. He plays with them a lot. They're like little mini ones. Um, so I think he's going to be pretty excited about that. <laughs> and then this I found on clearance at Walmart after Christmas last year. You guys, the best time to shop is like right before they bring the Christmas stuff out. Um, they're going to be getting rid of like a lot. Like they get, I want to say it was like almost like August or September. They started clearing all the toys to make room for the new Christmas stuff. And that's a really good time to shop at Walmart and Target. There'll be like aisles of clearance. And then after Christmas, about mid-January to the end of January, sometimes into February, then they're trying to get rid of all the Christmas toys that just didn't sell. Um, that's a really good time for clearance in general, but especially toys. So this I scored last Christmas when they like did that, got, like, got rid of the toys and stuff. And I remember being like, oh my God, because I got it for five bucks. And you guys know this Paw Patrol stuff is not cheap. Um, so that was awesome. And then I got these Nerf bullets. I was looking tonight and the pack where they had like this at Walmart, it says $9, but this, this pack like this that they had out was like 15. Maybe the price has gone up, but I grabbed that two years ago guys he was like one but I was like okay eventually he's gonna be into nerf stuff and so I grabbed that and good thing I did because he just like he just started getting into nerf guns and we were already losing bullets so he's gonna get that and then oh gosh he's been looking he's still monster jam obsessed and he's been missing megalodon like um I haven't been able to find him a megalodon and he loves Megalodon. And they finally like put a Megalodon out. So I grabbed it. Um, and I'm I'm going to, yeah, give it to him for Christmas. But he's been like, he saw this in my drawer like two days ago. I have like a drawer where I, when I find Christmas stuff, I stick it in there until it goes to storage. And he kept trying to open it. I was like, no, sir, you got to wait till Christmas. So he's really excited about that one already. Oh, my God. And this, this freaking Aquaman he wanted forever. And I was like, I'm not paying full price for that thing. And then it went down to clearance. So I got it for nine bucks. Um, it does, let me see. I can't remember how it, you like squeeze it. What do you do? Try me on the back. Oh, it's his legs. Okay, it's his legs. So. Huh. You need to be faster, Black Manta. He's like obsessed with, um, Aquaman so he had been wanting this and I found it on clearance finally and then so he's got bigger superheroes like that and um then he's got like littler ones like this so these are on clearance too for four bucks so I just went ahead and got him um these two from Aquaman and then let's see uh magnet tiles he already has some but like as he gets older like he's building on them more and more it's kind of like with blocks like they start out with a smaller amount and then they start building like bigger and bigger structures and you buy them more so i got him more magnet tiles i got those on sale though i got some for my godson too and then this play-doh kitchen i got um clearance he's obsessed with play-doh and it's like a little oven thing um yeah, that's like, he loves Play-Doh. He'll sit there and do it for like an hour. Great. Um, great for mommy. And then... Oh, yeah! He has the Lightning McQueen one like this. And, um, yeah, it was originally $30. And I got it. I, th I know I got this for 10 so it must have gone down farther. Um, so he has the Lightning McQueen one. It lights up and talks like that too. And he's, he's like still like he got it when he was two and he's still like obsessed with it. So I've had this cruise in storage to give him. And I, I think like he's at the right age now or give it to him now and he'll play with it for a couple years and then, you know, probably I'll grow it. But that was like a great find because the Lightning McQueen one that he got for his birthday, like was like $30. So it was cool to find that on clearance. <laughs> okay. Last two things. Sounds ridiculous. Then I'll show you guys some other stuff that I got for the Christmas Eve bags. So this is a Toys R Us clearance find. And um, I also got him a microscope, but I didn't get it out of storage because I think like we'll just start with the telescope. 
And so I think he's going to have a lot of fun with this. He likes space and like, I don't know, stuff like that. So we'll see. Um, I know they still have this in stores, but this was from Toys R Us when they closed. And then this thing, <laughs> I've been waiting till he's like old enough for this. Um, it says five plus, but they have one at gymnastics that they would put out and he really liked it. So I think I'm finally going to blow it up and give it to him um, to play with in the backyard. So he he always like runs to that in gymnastics when they put it out. Um, I This was not this expensive. I would not have paid just because it was a dollar off. I actually think I think I got this for like a dollar fifty. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have bought this at four. So yeah, there's that. And then I'm going to show you guys. So you guys that have been with me a while know I do Christmas Eve bags for all the kids that come to my Christmas Eve party. So clearance shopping, um, at the end of Christmas is like major for me. Some of this stuff is newer, but, um, it's like a major thing for me because I buy this stuff for their Christmas bags, like, and get it hella cheap so this is I got these at the um clearance last year and I got three of them for my godson Jackson and my nephew like my littlest nephew and I picked up some of these recently these like fizzle eggs he loves them there's some stuff in here I got from my niece like the older one I got these kid the kids these fidget spinners I, I watched these because they were on clearance forever. I'm like, I'm not even paying $2.50. <laughs> I waited till they went down to like 50 cents. So I got the older kids fidget spinners. Um, and then some slime in here. I'm trying to think what else is here. These are super fun. So these are like Robot Alive Jackson. When I found these on clearance after Christmas last year, I got so many of them because Jackson like is obsessed with them. Um, but these I held off for Christmas time for, um, the kids Christmas Eve bags. Oh, that's more slime. Okay. All right. And then I got some of this stuff for the Christmas Eve bags. Um, this is for my younger nephew, those little ducks, some paints. Um, this is for my younger nephew, more Robo Alive stuff. <laughs> these are for Jackson and Liam my godson if you're new around here in Jackson so those are for their Christmas Eve bag and then like these go like I'm telling you guys like everything goes on clearance these are usually like what are these like five bucks and I got these for 50 cents I remember being like score so those are for Christmas Eve bags um so are these like sticker packs super cute um, and then these books, Walmart, this was like a new find for me. So these books at Walmart were like, I guess they had Christmas books out and these, yeah, these are usually like five bucks and, um, Jackson's Christmas books are already out. I just put his with his Christmas stuff, but some of these are from like my, my nephew and my godson, um, just to put in their Christmas Eve bag. So... Um, it's got a lot and I paid 50 cents for these books and they're usually five bucks um and then I got the boys this some of these are for Jackson for his Christmas Eve bag we love books so yeah see like here's more um these were even cheaper these were like 25 cents or something crazy they're really cute just really cute books and stories so you know if you have a place to store all this stuff, you can save a lot of money shopping like I do. But those are just our Christmas Eve, like, goody stuff. Anyways, so that is what I got Jackson for Christmas, uh, what Santa got Jackson for Christmas, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry it came out so late, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!